Hello children, hope you all are fine and welcome to the new year. We should thank God for reaching safely to this new year and let us hope that that everything in this new year becomes absolutely normal and fine. So children, we are now coming to the chapter symmetry where we will be discussing about what a line symmetry and a rotational symmetry is. What is symmetry? Symmetry is when an object has two or more equal sides when split in half or in smaller pieces. Here in the given slide children you can see the face of a tiger given which is divided into a vertical symmetry and it is written the tiger has one line of symmetry. Then what is line symmetry? Let us come to know that. A shape has line symmetry when one half of it is the mirror image of the other half. Here in the given picture children you can see the house being divided into two equal parts and the both these parts are the mirror image of each other. Now coming to the third slide children, here the picture you can see the picture of a butterfly and Taj Mahal. In Taj Mahal children the image has two lines of symmetry, the vertical and the horizontal whereas in the butterfly children it has only one line of symmetry that is the vertical symmetry. Now children, some objects are there which has either the vertical symmetry or the horizontal symmetry. And alphabets, here children, some alphabets are shown in the slide. Some are having the vertical symmetry like the alphabet A, M, U and W is having vertical symmetry. Whereas the alphabets E, B, C and D is having horizontal symmetry. And the alphabet T and P is showing its mirror image or it is laterally inverted children okay now let us come to the geometrical figures of a square a circle and a rectangle and see how many symmetries does these all geometrical figures have a square has four lines of symmetry children as you can see in the square a vertical symmetry or horizontal symmetry and two diagonal symmetries a circle has infinite number of symmetries okay in in a circle children you can draw a symmetry from any point and in a rectangle a rectangle has two lines of symmetry one vertical and the other horizontal let us come to the face of a smiley here children the smiley is having only one vertical symmetry so it is said that it has only one line of symmetry let us come to the geometrical figure given on the top the red one which is showing it has three lines of symmetry you can see here three arms of the picture given so one is the vertical symmetry and the other two are the diagonal symmetries now let us come to the union jack it is having four lines of symmetry the vertical the horizontal and two diagonal symmetries now what is rotational symmetry an image has rotational symmetry if there is a center point around which the object is turned a certain number of degrees and the object still looks the same that is it matches itself a number of times while it is being rotated here children you can see the picture of a triangle given since the triangle will match itself three times as it is rotated it is said to have rotational symmetry of the order three now in the next slide children here you can see the picture of a pizza given which is divided into six slices since all the toppings are placed so evenly this pizza has got rotational symmetry of the order six that means it can be rotated six times when it is rotated six times it completely overlaps over one over the other means it completely overlaps over itself now the picture of a flower is given which is showing five petals in it so this will show a rotational symmetry of the order five that means if you are going to turn it it will take a full turn and one petal will overlap over itself when you take a complete turn of five rounds or five times this flower has a rotational symmetry of order five since it has it matches itself five times now let us come to another uh, popular Hindu sign that is the swastik chin. Here the swastik chin has got rotational symmetry of the order 4. 
okay why because it has got four arms so when you rotate it four times it will completely overlap over itself now let us come to a few more examples of rotational symmetry where you can see the geometrical figure here it will take it has got five arms so this will take a rotational symmetry of the order five coming to the alphabet w which is written in a straight manner when you take a 90 degrees it will take a right turn then it is completely upside down at 180 degree then it will take a left turn at 270 degree and when it takes a turn at 360 degree it will come back to its original shape from where we started the word symmetry has got its rotational symmetry of the order 2 this is all for today children hope you understood what is symmetry now you will do the chapters that are related to the chapter symmetry.